Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode of Kuroko No Basket, Kuroko's Basketball. On the last episode, Saren got blown the hell out. Not even close. Almine put on a clinic. The rest of his team put on a clinic. Kagami might be out for the rest of the tournament. And Kuroko was defeated facing his rival. The final score was 112 points to 55 points. The team that just defeated Shutoku went to the Champions League and got blown out like that. Officially letting the world know they might be frauds. Now it's time to shake back. The next game y'all play, y'all got a lot of pent-up aggression and anger that y'all got to let out. Kuroko... You gotta, Kuroko gotta spaz. He has to. He has to. You cannot go out like that. You can't go out like that. That's embarrassing. And then you got Almine talking crazy to you while he does it. Nah. I really do hope we get that flashback of what happened when they were in middle school, though. Because the intensity I'm seeing from Kuroko right now, that's something I ain't seen before. So, man, that junk got me hype. They name dropped um a dude named Akashi. I think it's a dude with the red hair. Probably the team captain, another middle school team, but yeah. Can't wait to see him. We got Midorima and Kisei in the stands. Just watch their boys go at it. They know there's beef. They know there's bad blood. So, let's see what happens in this episode. Because I know that whole team is humiliated right now. Let's see how they take the L, man. If you want to see the full version of this, it's on my Patreon. The link is in the description. Just click on it, you know what I'm saying? Click the link. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Dude, that's crazy. They all played on the same team. It's crazy to me now. Wow, Kuroko's basketball was useless against Aumine. That's a bar. Yeah, okay, so they got two games left. Alright. Dude, that was disrespectful. Yo, relax, bro. Relax. Oh, this is a bench player? Bench player is talking like starters. I hate it. Come on, bro. Lift that dude up with one hand, though. It's crazy. You just got punked with one arm. That's outrageous. Yeah, nah. Y'all gotta blow these boys out, bro. Y'all gotta blow them out. That disrespect can't slide. Now them other teams gonna be thinking that y'all little dogs. But dang, Kagami might not be allowed to play. Cause he was dragging that leg. Walking with a big limp. Can't be, bro. You gotta go beyond. Plus Ultra. Badass. Damn, Kagami about to call it quits here? But I don't know, Kuroko, dude. He do look worried, though. Did, I mean, they just... Did, I mean, they just take him apart like that? Damn. Kagami really not up for it, bro. He just... Wow. Dejected like that? Nah, y'all gotta shake back. Y'all gotta shake back. Come on, bro. Game two. Come on. It's gotta be light work. Oh. Uh, don't tell me they play crappy for the rest of the league. Oh, no. Don't tell me they lost out. Damn. They lost their groove for the rest of the tournament. That's why I said, bruh. 
Y'all had to have momentum. I said this in the last episode. I said y'all gotta y'all gotta have momentum going into the next game. Y'all have to. Y'all gotta leave that game with something. And they didn't. Shit. That's tough. Wow. Oh, that's tough. They lost out. They went 0 and 3. That's tragic, bro. Serian number seven. Who is this? Who are you? Good practice. Get back to basics. Yeah. There we go. He back locked in. There we go. But it's still not enough. You gotta unlock. You gotta unleash that next level, bro. Start over from ground one or ground zero. Dang, Kagami been off the grid, bro. Yeah, because it sounded like they they both gave he gave up. It seems like Kagami gave up on him and Kuroko. That's what it sounded. That's what it sounded like to me. Yeah, I feel like Kagami saying that really just destroyed Kuroko's confidence. That messed him up. He better pull up on Kuroko. Dang, bro. There we go. Yeah, bro. Kuroko gotta hit that next level. Oh, he sound like he got wisdom. He a real OG, huh? Oh yeah, he a real OG. What? Nah, they say he was an OG like that. The creator of Serene Basketball. Yeah, that's real OG status. Yeah, that's real OG status, bro. What? He just missed the layup? Nah, I'm confused, bro. Don't tell me he's another Kuroko, bro. Don't tell me he's another Kuroko. That might make me mad. Ugly dude, depressed. You better lock in, bro. Get you some push-ups, do some squats, do some stretching. Nah, now I'm confused, bro. Next week, so Tepe is going back to the team. Dude, what is Tepe's ability then? Because he, he just blew that layup. There's no doubt about it. Man, you got to show me what type of talent you got, bro. 
Cause I'm really about to be fed up with you. I ain't even gonna lie. Just seeing you and I'm already fed up with you, bro. Show me something good. Why was he gone? Oh. Okay, okay. That's what I thought. Ooh, center. I was going to say something about that. It don't look like they got a real big man on the team. I forgot to mention that, bro. I've been meaning to say that for a while. That's why he missed the layup. <laughs> ah, that's crazy. Okay, it makes sense now. It makes sense now. I couldn't tell his height compared to Kuroko because Kuroko is just small to everybody. So, that makes sense. His rebound game better be A1. Nah, Kagami got something to prove, though. He got something to prove. After getting embarrassed like that. You remember the warning Kisei gave? Remember that warning Kisei gave? I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind. I'm not forgetting that. Ooh. One on one to start. That's a challenge. That's a challenge. Wow. It's, oh, so they had Kagami playing like a center position. They had him at a five? No wonder they wasn't winning. Dude. That's kind of wild. One on one, winner gets the starting spot. That's crazy. That's crazy. Tepe coming in here trying to restake his claim on things. Okay. He's definitely the tallest on the team, but we did see him miss that uh, layup. So, how much talent does he really have? But they say he's undefeated, though. So, it's like, dang. Dang. So, the Winter Cup is our new goal. We're not going to be in the inner high after getting exposed. So, Kagami coming back on edge. And, I, bro, I promise you, I'm going to keep that in mind until this show. Until this show is over, I'm going to keep that in my mind. What Kisei said about, like, Kagami might, he might switch up. Kuroko, be prepared. He might switch up on you. Just don't be fully surprised when it happens, you know? So, I feel like Kagami, I feel like this, if he loses this one-on-one -on -one against Tepe, it's either going to make or break him. Yeah, it'll make or break him. That might be what puts him over the edge, makes him worse. You know, in terms of, like, his character, makes him, like, a dickhead, things like that. Or, it drives him to, like, really push for it. But at the same time, if I'm the coach, I wouldn't be mad having them both in the starting lineup. Like, you could easily take out somebody else. So, our starters, let's see, we got Huga, team captain, Kuroko, Kagami. Let's say we had Tepe in there, too. And then I believe the other one is, uh, I always forget the dude's name. Mitobe, I think? No, I don't know if that's his name. The quiet dude. I, you know what I'm talking about. So that's our five, right? If we have him. So who else was a starter before that? It had to be somebody irrelevant. If I don't remember, like, bro, why not just have them all in the starting five? I feel like I feel like Tepe's just doing that to see where Kagami's at, cause there's no way a coach wouldn't like want the best players out there on the floor at the same time. I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt that. But still, I want to see how what this one on one does to Kagami. 
But I want to see if he's really going to switch up like that this soon. Because we're still in the first season. So if Almine was capable of making Kagami turn on Kuroko like that, then that just furthers furthers my claim that Almine is him. Like him dunking, him Turner. Come on, bro. If Almine exposed the team that bad to make Kagami and Kuroko play this horrible and be this down mentally, dude, I don't know how there's somebody better than him. I got to see Akashi. I got to see Akashi. This can't continue, bro. This can't continue. Akashi, Akashi got to be... He got to be next level. He got to be LeBron James status. Because that's the only way he could be better than Almine. Because what Almine showed me, nothing. Nothing so far can top that. With Dorima's full court shots are good and cool and all, but you can only do that so many times, you know? They found a way to shut it down. But Almine just ran through folks that entire tournament. Like, he literally... They, he, he almost single-handedly beat down Serene so bad that they couldn't win another game the entire tournament. That's tough. That's really tough. But, yeah, I want to see Tepe in action on the next episode. Hopefully, this one-on-one -on -one is more of, I feel like it might be more of an introduction to Tepe. Because I don't know if Tepe loses, to be honest. I don't feel like they would introduce him and then have him, like, lose a one-on-one. Because, -on -one. obviously, Kagami's not even in his right mind right now. So, the chances of Kagami winning are already very slim. But, yeah, I still want to see what happens to him as a result of the match, of the little one-on-one. -on -one. So, yeah, good episode, great episode. I feel like we needed that L, but I didn't anticipate that they would take it the way they did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't anticipate Kagami to act the way to act the way he's acting. Like, it doesn't seem like that determination is there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, he had a chip on his shoulder, but it's like, he's not doing nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? It's just the same old, same old for him. But, yeah. Can't wait for that one-on-one -on -one next episode. This was a good episode. If you enjoyed the reaction, like the video, click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. It comes in clutch more than you will know. Trust me. Trust me. I ain't gonna lie to you. And yeah, full version on Patreon. Full uncut. Link is in the description. Go check out everything on the Patreon, bro. Trust me. We got some heat on there. Some heat that that ain't hit YouTube. It probably will never hit YouTube. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. Jujutsu Kaisen, by the way. But um, yeah, that's it for this reaction. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.